Good day and welcome to our short explanation of how to set your Office 365 Pro Plus uh, deployment to function in a kiosk mode, what Microsoft calls a shared activation mode. So what happens with shared activation, what I call a kiosk mode, when it comes to Office 365 is that when a user signs in, uh, it activates that version of Office, uh, that installation of Office I should say, uh, against them but doesn't actually count against them so they have to have an account they have to have an office 365 uh, account that is licensed so if that user were to go to portal.office.com and sign in and then take a look at what is charged against them for activations uh, when this when they're not on the machine in question obviously uh, that license uh, will not show up which is great so uh, this is great for boardrooms focus rooms huddle rooms you know things like that this is the registry entry you need to get to. What you need to do is add shared configuration, oh, sorry, shared computer licensing, uh, and set it to a value of one. Uh, so if you were to go into the registry and add it, and then export it, you would see that this is what it ends up being. So, pretty straightforward, HK Local Machine, software, Microsoft, Office, click to run, configuration, and then soft computer licensing equals one. So let's just show how that works. Uh, you can simply run that uh, file, uh, run that uh, this reg file, if you wish, uh, on each kiosk that you'd like, or you can push it out using a tool like PDQ. So let's show you how to do that. So in PDQ, you'd start a new package, and you would name it whatever you'd like. I've cleverly called it Change Office 365 Pro Plus Kiosk to Shared Activation. Uh, you'd create a new step, and that step, by the way, uh, is install, not command or PowerShell. Yes, you can do it with some of the other ones, but easiest one is install. And what you would do is select the reg file um, by pressing the uh, ellipse on the right-hand side here uh, that you've already created. Uh, that's this one here. And uh, deploy it. That's it. Just click Save and you're on your way. Now, uh, when you're done, you want to know if it has been uh, converted to a shared activation. So the easiest thing to do is after this registry entry has been added, uh, reboot the machine and let's take a look. So here's a machine that I deployed uh, this to just recently. And if we click start and go to Word, and then click File, Account, About Word, you'll see up here it says Shared Computer Activation. That tells you that you've got shared computer activation. That's it. If you have any questions, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you.